I'll be presenting today's Radiopedia.org case in radiology, myoclonic epilepsy with ragged red fibers. Case courtesy is demonstrated here, and the case link is in the description below. Presentation, we have a 20-year-old female with epileptic seizures since early teens, general weakness, progressive cognitive decline, emotional ability, shaky writing, and unsteady walking. On MRI, we see predominantly cortical hyperintense lesions here on flare as well as on T2 in both cerebral hemispheres, the basal ganglia, the midbrain, and the cerebellum. There's T1 hypointensities in the corresponding areas with no contrast enhancement. The MRI scans and laboratory testing, including aciduria, decrease of plasma carnitine, and an increase of blood and CSF lactate, etc., suggested that the patient might have a mitochondrial pathology. Genetic analysis has shown the mutation in the MTND5 gene. The latter is characteristic of Murph syndrome, Milas, and Lay syndrome, of which Murph syndrome was the most likely diagnosis, judging by the clinical picture. Unfortunately, the patient refused to perform a muscle biopsy to confirm the diagnosis. This case shows both the radiological and clinical picture of Murph syndrome. Primary mitochondrial disorders are especially hard to diagnose properly, so a thorough differential diagnosis is required, relying on both MRI and genetic analysis.